one thing I can assure the audience is that the car action is as good as what was done in the futures. We uh, spent a great deal of resource doing the car stuff properly. We have Michel Julian carrying out all the stunts. He did the movies. He knows what's required to make it great. I consider him to be the best in the world at what he does, no question. The car chases, the action sequences in terms of the cars and whatever other, it's very much more feature film than television. And, and they're pulling it off in a, in, a, you know, in a relatively short space of time as well. Um, but they do plan it you know, inside out, left, right and centre and back to front. The precision of the, the sort of maths behind it, it's amazing. Michel Julien and his team, his son David and Pascal, whose last name I can't remember. Hey Pascal. Um, these guys are great. They, they work out elaborate and incredibly dangerous looking stunts. These guys come up with a stunt and they say, how could we maybe work it into an episode? Or we come up with an idea and then they'll modify it. They take weeks to plan, they rehearse them over and over again. Michel Julien is really a car legend. It's a family business. His, his father was a, a stunt legend. He is now and he's brought his son also with him. And he's been working for us for almost half a year exclusively to, uh, to bring all the car action that were in the transporter movies, the James Bond movies, on the small screen. That's something pretty, pretty unique. So we gave him seven Audis, which we damage, crash and, and play with. To do the kind of stunts we had to do with the, with the car, uh, we had to transform two of them in two wheels drive, two wheels drive only to make them slide, to do a U-turn uh, very fast, uh, 80, 180 degrees U-turn. It's like a, a rally car, you know, like uh, in WRC, championship, that kind of car. I don't have to do a um, stand with Audi. I was disappointed. I wanted to do that too, but it's not my car actually. I'm driving an Alfa Romeo. I think it's a good idea to have this, uh, this kind of film uh, developed in series because uh, we're not so used to see, to see this in television and it's always very pleasant to see cars in, uh, in pursuits, in chases and uh, doing things you're not allowed to do. In Europe, we already shot in, uh, in Berlin at first. Then we went, to, we went to Nice. Uh, we've been to Marseille. We've been on a small narrow road called uh, La route des crêtes. is a very well known point of view with a site very fabulous. So uh, this is the ultimate arm. Bought it over from the States. It's the only one in Europe at the moment. And it is uh, a remote controlled crane arm on top of a high-speed tracking vehicle. It's for especially today for one uh, uh, action with one uh, Lamborghini and uh, Audi. Uh, Frank uh, have a chasing situation and uh, it's especially one equipment just for action. We have a precision driver to drive the car. I am the arm operator and I move the arm around the car. Uh, and we have the director inside with us. We have a camera operator inside and the focus puller. It's a step forward from what we used to do with, um, with cranes on the back of a tracking vehicle, which were hand 
manoeuvred, this is now done with everyone inside the car, which is obviously a lot safer, and we can, uh, we can do it with, with a lot more speed. We're very happy to be using it here on the series of uh, Transporter. Michel, le retour. You just don't see that type of action on most television shows, it's incredible stuff. The Michel Julien and his team of drivers, they're world class. Any huge action, you know, car action film you've seen, odds are they've been part of it. thing that makes the transporter quite unique, especially in television, where this is a movie thing. You know, these are movie guys, and they're bringing that sort of knowledge, history, smarts to this show. What's amazing about them is A, nobody gets hurt, and B, that when they say that they can flip a car three times upside down, that's actually what happens. They're actually able to choreograph it that closely that we're able to get the stunt that they promise. That's <laughs> guy, you okay? We've okay. just broken a police car. <laughs> Just put it. Pascal, right. how was it? It was fun, like always.